Hello everyone and welcome back to another F1 League Racing video. Today we're here for WOR, round number three of the season for the Russian Grand Prix. Admittedly, a track that I'm not looking forward to and I'm expecting to struggle quite badly. Now, before we jump into this one, if you haven't seen the previous race, round number two, then go check it out, guys. I think it was an Imola uh, link up in the top right. Uh, pretty frustrating race, a tough one, and a bit of pill to swallow after a very good opening race in Spa. Uh, nonetheless, if you want to enjoy this one, leave a like and subscribe for more weekly F1 league racing content as we look at the standings. Now, at the minute, Shanaka Clay leads the way. In second place, we have Berezne and then Longay Caraton and then Sam Corby in P5. Uh, we are now out of the top 10. We currently have six points to our name after Belgium. So uh, we're a little bit down the order. I think P14 and P15. So we're going to have to try and hopefully get some points to get ourselves back into the top 10, which to be fair, if we finish at the end of the season, I'd be quite happy with because the caliber and the quality of this field is absolutely bonkers. Nonetheless, though, we're going to jump into qualifying and into Q1. So let's get the session underway. This was my first lap on the softs after doing a bit of a banker work on the intermediates. And into turn two, we absolutely messed it up, missing the apex and then running wide and invalidating. So straight away, I backed off and we're going to try and go for another lap on these tires as we try to get the temps back under control and also get uh, the fuel management on point. We join the action now at the end of my second attempt on these same tires once we went for the cool down lap. And to be fair, it was a pretty safe lap. It felt okay. Um, it wasn't too bad actually, you know, considering my pace. And uh, it was actually, for, for my liking, pretty decent. Making our way through the final couple of corners and through the final one now across the line, it's going to be a 30.5 and we go P14. So for now, we're in, we're safe, but that lap isn't going to be enough. And you can see right now, P15 heading on to the final runs. And this is going to be our last attempt. With four seconds to go, we cross the line and we're going to send it and see what happens. So, check a flag out, qualifying complete. We're already up by quite a bit as we make our way down towards turn number two. We're going to spot the braking board on the left, 100 meters, down to fourth gear, and then try to get a nice clean exit out of here, which we managed to do. Not perfect, we're about equal right now, uh, but go through turn three, absolutely flat out through here, opening up turn four, bring it onto the curb, and then down the fourth gear, short shift the fifth on the apex, so you get a nice drive out of there as we end sector one. Into sector two, this next right-hander, another 90 degree right, we didn't quite get the apex, and we have a big moment on the exit, losing a tenth and a half, nearly two tenths, and at that point, that one slight error just made me overheat my rear tires a little bit, and I was fighting the car for the rest of the lap and you can see here we're still down on our previous best going through the next right hand up onto the back straight where we're recovering time but that tenth and a half okay, two tenths could be crucial so making our way into sector three then hard on the anchors on the brakes here right hander followed by the left under the bridge short shifting to clean up the traction and again i'm struggling on the rear tire so we need to be very very careful as we now go into this very tricky left hander where the back end gets very light and it's very easy to lose the car. Nice clean traction out of there. Now making our way into the final two corners, trying to maximize the lap time. We have a bit of a moment again. And then the final corner across the line, we improve by just half a tenth. Just could, I lit the rears up once at the start and then I was just trying to hold on the whole lap. Terrible. Yeah, that's all that mistake. Now, with that done, qualifying was unfortunately over for us in Q1. I do believe we left about two and a half tenths on the table quite easily but even then I didn't have the pace to get through the cutoff was a, a pretty strong one in fairness uh, Jack Laverty in P15 who crashed out he's not going to take part in Q2 but the cutoff was um, a high one or a mid one from what I can tell on my preview screen so yeah we didn't quite have that kind of pace you know I will be honest I've been struggling to find time to practice recently for league races and um, you know my priority, first and foremost, is a content creator. When I get time for league racing, I try my best. But, you know, the videos come first. And, uh, yeah, I've been struggling with that on top of other things and responsibilities in my life lately. So, uh, yeah, qualifying a bit of a mess considering I practice for about 30 minutes, to be honest with you. Uh, we're going to now jump into the race and see if we can turn this one around, though. Now, here we are for the race. We're going to start on the medium and then go for the soft, therefore going for the alternate strategy. Uh, 0.6 extra fuel. I don't think the alternate strategy is that powerful here, but... We've got to try something different and we'll see what happens. Maybe we can try and turn it around. In hindsight, I wish I'd gone for soft, but that's the way it's going to go for this one. And hopefully we can make it work. So jumping into the race start then, getting ready for the five red lights here at the Sochi Autodrome. 
and it slides out and away we go and it's straight away a great launch off the line on the mediums getting really good traction having said that Lewis Welch on the pad absolutely flying off the line as he gets the move on the inside of turn one now down towards turn two we're going to try and see if we can get lucky and find a bit of a gap under braking we go we're going to go to the outside through here side by side with Nicolas Mateo into now turn number three and it's going to be a drag race to see who can get this done we're going to have the shorter inside line with Mateo going the long way round into turn four though we've got a bit of traffic and that allows Mateo to go for the move we have to run off track to avoid contact as we still go side by side into the next right hand I'm still going to try and fight here we've got the long way round we actually re-challenge Lewis Welch instead and make a lovely move but now Mateo trying to get back on the inside and I get boxed in here and I can't do much about it as we just try to find the space in the second sector we've got a yellow flag here and that car on the inside just put me off a little bit we've got another one off on the right and another one here on the left as we try to slice through the traffic and uh, make the moves and just like that up to P15 so a decent start a couple of places gained but we have lost out on track to Lewis Welch and Nicolas Mattel otherwise we'd be P13 right now so bit of a shame uh, mixed fortunes you know what could have been a great start and still was a great start ended up being an okay one uh, crucially Primoz McClavchic behind the softs is still behind us uh, Sam McBride as well so uh, yeah we're gonna set into this race now as the first lap comes to a close and at this point the kind of carnage usually dissipates and uh, yeah we're gonna try and get into our race pace now and see if we can build up our confidence and fight back later on in this Grand Prix right so you've got Clay leading from Longue, on Hodge P3. Green flag. And there you go, that's the top three. Not, not a bad start, I mean I lost down track to Mateo and Welch, otherwise I'd be P13. Yeah. But I just got caught out in all positions where I had nowhere to go, so I lost out. Lewis floor for line to be fair. <laughs> not too mad about it though. I think the mediums are holding up okay. Longue in. Now all the way up to lap five, not a lot happened. We was all in the DRS train and Primoz is going to pit along with Nicholas Longe and Jeffrey Ritchie. So we're getting a couple of places now on lap six. Jeffrey Ritchie as well. Now moving on to lap seven. This is when things started to get interesting because the guys in mediums started to battle and this usually costs everyone time. Could be something in this for me here. And as you can hear me say, there could be something in this for us because we might be able to pick up the pieces and make some moves here. So we'll see what happens. Uh, for now though, this is going to work out as we uh, see a car into the pits there that is going to be uh, we'll get confirmation shortly that is Josh Edo so he's boxing off the soft tyre on to lap 8 now though and uh, we're into the top 9 we're looking pretty decent I'm saving tyres you know following these guys again I can't lie to myself you know seeing where Lewis Welch is I really wish I'd kept track position because we could have been you know a couple of places higher up as uh, so Nicholas Mattel passes Jack Laverty so uh, yeah right now we're just watching this space being patient and they're waiting for the right moment, you know, ERS as well, making sure that we keep a little bit back for the crucial moments, you know, the in-laps and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, lap eight now though, through Whoa, turn four, we have a massive moment and somehow we've locked the rears and spun. That curb just fucking spun me off, what? That was weird. Never had that in my life. And I've literally never, ever done that before. I've always, you know, you go to that curb, you break right on it to open up the corner. And that is a first for me. I've never ever done that in my life in my team league racing or practice. Hopefully I'll keep battling ahead and I'll stay in touch. Unless I just bleed time on the straights. Which is the more realistic situation. Now as you can hear me say, unfortunately, uh, we're going to try and stay in the race and keep up. But the reality is, we're going to be bleeding way too much time in the two DRS zones to keep up. You can see here the gap is growing. Even though my pace is decent, uh, we're just losing time. And uh, my mistake is going to really hurt us this race. Mateo's gone early, Jesus. Unless he goes hard. Unless he's retired. He's not retired. He's going soft. Now, Nicholas Mateo pits very early. Very interesting. And he's going very aggressive with the soft tyre. 17 laps. It's possible, but it's a long way to go. And you might struggle at the end. Nonetheless, he's going for his undercut. We're going to keep doing our thing. Now, at this stage of the race, there wasn't much we could do except wait. Uh, Longay, Caraton, and the lead group Oh, come on. Like are approaching and the idea for me now is to try and latch onto the back of Longe and have him drag me along as we get our first warning for track limits up ahead Lewis Welch and Jack Laverty with three second time penalties now so that's also a bonus if we can get back close we might gain something in this race uh, on to lap 13 now at the end of the lap uh, Longe's within my DRS range as a stack it at pits hey what statue it goes on to Jake 
We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the soft. And it looks like Stakilek onto the soft tire. And now Nicholas Longe is going to go for the move here on us. Stakilek soft straight. Now we're not going to fight this. Longe is faster. I actually get off the throttle a bit to let him go by. He's out of battery as well. So this could be an opportunity for us to, you know, stay close and, uh, you know, recharge the battery, stay within range and have Nicholas drag us along. Now at 15, he just about got the gap over a second as we have a bit of a moment in the second sector. At this point, my tyres were starting to struggle, whereas long days were much fresher. Um, but lap 15, we're just about hanging in there as now Shanaka behind is closing in along with Luke Smith. Green flag. Oh, yeah, my tyres lost it, please. There's yes. Been an incident on go. track resulting in loose debris. Three. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time, and there are no plans for a safety car right now. You little Check beauty. Your MFD for a new strategy option. Okay, copy that. Oh, that is what I'm fucking talking about. And there we have it. A golden ticket back into the race. Safety car confirmed on lap 15, and we are now going to box. And that is the benefit of staying out. We're going to put some soft tires on, and we are in this race. Lovely. This is interesting because are, are the, the soft shots are getting quicker, but they can overheat so much that the yeah. mediums. <laughs> Plays in. Now, at this point, everyone's going to pit. Uh, my teammate, uh, Jake Benner, is going to pit as well. Uh, I think he's ahead of us. Go, go, go. Didn't just stop. Didn't get held. Exit. Let's get Exit back out. on the way. Luke Smith stayed out. Now, Luke Smith stays out. He's one of the only drivers, if, the, if not the only one, that's going to gamble and stay out on the medium tyres. I'm going to get slapped on the restart, but I was thinking I'm mediums again, but I need to change compound. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. How much fuel you got? Uh, a lap. Safety okay, car sorry. is in this lap. Safety car in warnings? this lap. Let's make yeah, sure those tyres are up four. to temperature. Yeah, and remember, well. there is no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. Oh, no, it's up. not. It's done that limit thing again. Oh, yeah, shit. That's come back into the game, hasn't it? Yeah. Now here we are for the restart, and you just heard us say there we're struggling to get tire temp. Oh, bro, it's fucking tire temp's gonna go to shit. And I don't know what it is, but since the latest patch, um, for some reason we no longer have control. So the game is basically an autopilot, and it's giving us traction control. So we can't spin up the rear tires to get temp. So we have to resort to weaving super aggressively here to try and find any kind of temperature. Eventually. Once the prepare to go racing message comes across, you can spin the rears up a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're now back on the way. So right now for this restart, we're going to the end of the race. We're net P9, Longay ahead, and then Shanaka and Caraton behind. So we are in an F1 eSports mega sandwich right now, as uh, we're going to try and see if we can hang in there. At, at first, my plan was to um, let the eSports guys go because they're faster. Um, and I didn't want to feel that kind of pressure and make mistakes. But then I kind of got into the rhythm a bit, and I started to feel quite comfortable uh, on these soft tires during this stint. Louis for six seconds. Now Lewis Welch gets another three second penalty, so he's up to six seconds now, which is perfect for us as we can gain lead battle. Yeah. And you can see up front, the leaders are battling away, so everyone's going to lose time. This is because Luke Smith stayed out in the mediums and everyone's trying to pass him. So he's going to start going backwards here as uh, multiple cars try to get by. So. Yeah, so far it's been pretty decent. Um, the restarts have gone good. We're not getting pressured or, you know, recklessly dive bombed by Shanaka Clay, which I really appreciate because oftentimes these sports drivers can be a bit aggressive and just kind of lunge one on you and hope that you get out of the way. Um, but for now, everyone's pretty well behaved. I think everyone's being patient, saving the ERS and waiting for now. Get damaged, Jay. Now, up ahead, the battling is, is, is still going on and you can see Luke Smith there uh, struggling for pace in the medium. Everyone trying to get a piece as we go three wide up ahead Lewis Welch making a double overtake attempt on Luke and one of the Ferraris and as you can see right there Luke goes oh, for a spin uh, Lavity is involved we tried to have a look but we didn't quite clear. get alongside enough so we'll just fall in line for now hopefully we can pass Jack on the pit straight here one hard lagging so bad yeah Jack Lavels as well now we've got a bit of lag with uh, Jack Laverty and also Thomas Runha up ahead. I was going to pass him, but I can see Jack's got some very good straight line speed and some pretty decent uh, ERS as well. So he's going to be hard to pass at this stage, which is not ideal. Longer gets by up to P6. I was hoping to pass Laverty because he's got a three second penalty, which is not going to help us out and do any favors. Uh, on to lap 21 though now, quite a few laps later, nothing happened until now where we have a moment right there and I'm struggling because I'm really pushing the tires. 30% across the line, Jay. And here comes Shanaka Clay then. So, DRS enabled. We've got DRS on the cars ahead, but you can see here, 
Shanaka's looking for the move. We've got Jeffrey Rich as well, who's going to try and get past as well. I tried to hang in there. We take a very, very shallow line into turn two. And now look at this. Josh Edo getting a great exit. Three abreast through turn number three. We're in the middle. We have to be careful here. Under braking, I have to just yield and be careful to not get caught out as Josh runs it a bit wide. And we'll just fall into P11 here and be patient. Again, there's a lot of penalties. And, you know, we are in play to get some decent points. Realistically, I can maybe get Jeffrey Ritchie again because he's my kind of pace. But Josh and Shanaka are much faster. Ah, as uh, you hear Jake make a mistake in the background as uh, he got quite frustrated. How much for Now, um, at this point, I thought, okay, let's just calm down a little bit. Nothing. Okay. <sighs> I dropped back. Couldn't keep up. I was driving my tyres. Now, the reason we had that little moment at the penultimate corner, it's a bit like qualifying. You make one mistake, you know, one bit of wheel spinning on the rears, and you're going to be struggling massively. And that's just because the pace was really strong. I was trying to hang on, and I was hanging on, but I was starting to overheat my tyres, and that last lap at the penultimate corner, we just, the tyres had enough, and spun as Jeffrey Ritchie has the same issue as he loses it out of, of the second from last corner. Oh, no, he's gone great. Why couldn't that just happen a lap ago? For fuck's sake. Why does it always happen when I get shafted? Literally, Jack Laverty uh, lost it. Kind of like I did, but I managed to hold it. Jack lost it. And I was just saying there, I wish that happened a lap before because we could have cleared him. But now we get the run and we get back ahead of Jeffrey Ritchie using our saved up ERS. And just like that, we're up to P9 as we clear Laverty and Jeffrey Ritchie. And we're now slotted behind Josh and Shanaka, both of which are pretty low on battery. And if we can just sit here... 3.4. No, we've lost contact with the train. Just to hope that I'm still within six by the end. I should be. I'm expecting the lead group to battle at the end. Oh shit, yeah. fuck. That was not expected. If we could just stay here, which is what I was going to say, I think I could actually repart Shanaka and Josh because I've got the battery. But again, overdriving, the rear is just lit up that one little time and uh, it puts in the back foot and uh, Leroy Brown got by. He does have a penalty though, so essentially we haven't actually lost anything. Right now, which is decent, uh, we've got Jeffrey Ritchie behind trying to get by once again as we fight for the tail end of the points. But at this point, unfortunately, because of the battling with Shanaka, Josh, and you know other cars around us, and Jack Laverty spinning as well, we lost contact with the lead group. And once that happens, the gap just grows and grows and grows, which is oh shit, fuck, I didn't dodge that. Unfortunate. And to kind of cap off a miserable race, and you know a race where all the mistakes were my own, we hit the back of Leroy. A mistake that I've never done before. I have somehow not got wing damage, but I have never, ever, ever run into the back of another car like that before. That is the first time that's ever happened to me, and unfortunately, that was the end. I've never drove a worse race in my life. I just got lucky to do that. And you hear Jake also having a bit of a poor race, but you know he still got P2 by his standards, though he wasn't satisfied with it. Appreciate. But yeah, end of the race, and we finish right. outside the points. In P11, I tried to fire back and hang on. Uh, my tyres were really hot, but I tried to push on because I know Leroy had six seconds. I thought I maybe could have nicked the point, but in the end, uh, we missed out by about three tenths. So unfortunately, I couldn't quite uh, nick P10. But still, um, I thought there were some positives to take from that race. You know, the race craft was pretty decent. Um, besides the two mistakes, I actually thought my race pace was pretty decent as usual. And um, had I, in hindsight, I think got a slightly better start. It could have been a better race for us. Uh, it wasn't a bad start, but, you know, uh, Lewis jumped us with a pad start and then uh, Matteo get a bye as well. Other than that, I can't really complain, uh, considering the errors, you know, um, and the lack of practice. That's what you get, unfortunately. Esports and league racing is ruthless. If you don't practice, uh, miracles don't really happen. You get left behind. So, yeah, for us, it's a painful one. Another non-points finish after Imola. And uh, we'll try and go again in the next one. But... Yeah, that's for the standings. We'll have an update for the next race. Um, for us, it doesn't mean much of a change because we didn't score any points. So we're still on six points right now after Belgium. So if you enjoyed that race and, uh, you know, me trying to fire back amidst my own mistakes, and if you like, subscribe for more weekly F1 content. I stream these races every Thursday night, every Sunday night on my Twitch. Link down below, so go check it out. As always, a massive, massive thank you to my channel members for supporting my content. And finally, check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them already. But that's it from me here today, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Until then, take care, and let's goodbye from me.